So let us compare the Intel Core i5-6500, the newer Skylake processor with the older i7-4790 Haswell processor that was launched a year ago. Uh, actually the Haswell was launched two, more than two years ago, but i7-4790 was a speed bump and so we have a year old processor uh, compared with the Skylake processor. Let us take a look at some of the basic differences in their um, specification and try to find out what drives the difference. The one thing that different from these two is the support for the hyper threading. Both of them are quad core, four, four, four cores in both of them, but the older Haswell processor has a support for hyper threading, which two threads can run in parallel on a single hardware core. So that drives up the performance by 15 to 18 percent that makes one significant difference between these two processors. We also have a higher clock frequency for Haswell, 400 megahertz higher in base clock frequency and about 400 megahertz higher also for the turbo clock frequency. So that is another thing that would could drive up the performance by 10 percent just because of the clock frequency. The third thing is that each memory is 2 megabyte higher for Haswell. That is another thing that could drive up the performance. Other, of course, the Skylake is the newer, better architecture built with 14 nanometer technology. So, this one will have the advantage of a better architecture, but we have seen that Skylake does not substantially improve the performance for a given clock frequency. Uh, the, with these three factors, we should uh, expect that the Haswell to be substantially better than the Skylake i5-6500. Of course, you still have to pay more for the Haswell even though it is older thin and 12 dollars versus 202 dollars. We expect the current prices for the Haswell should go down a little bit that Intel has not listed here um, and mm, we expect it to keep going a little bit, but that will depend upon demand the inventory if they have too much pile of inventory that can uh, drive down this cost. So, let us take a look at this benchmark score. We have older i7-4790 at 10042 versus the i5-6500 at uh, 7122. So, that is a substantial amount of difference close to 28 29 percent of performance difference. Um, we will take a look at some of the more things that are different be difference between these two and one of them is the support for the newer DDR4 memory which works at 1.2 volt versus DDR3 memory in as well that works at 1.5 volt that will make more of power efficient not very significant for desktop, but something you would like to consider. DDR4 has the same performance as DDR3 as of now. In future, it may become slightly better as the, the technology matures. Other than that, we also have an integrated graphic that is improved slightly from HD Graphics 4600 to HD Graphics 3530. We also have the support for higher memory resolution from the for the display that you can take advantage of. Uh, it is same for HDMI 1.4, but DP resolution is, is slightly higher support for this. I hope this review is helpful for you. Thanks for taking a look.